So tonight is the final episode of Kamen Rider Saber. So let's celebrate this day by giving Saber some last day love. What is up everyone, this is Inferno Zero, and today we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Saber from Kamen Rider Saber. This, I know this fair has been out for a while, but since today is going to be the final episode of Kamen Rider Saber, let's do a review on this figure as a, as a farewell to the show. And there will be a little bit of talk about like what I think about the show after this. So first off, the painting and sculpting is amazing as always. Um, a great representation of the suit from the show. All to like the cool fire on his head to the little dragon on his arm. Which is actually, which is another the cool thing about the suit is the if you look closely you can see teeth that it's the dragon head with the claw going all the way down to his skirt to the back as the body which is a really nice attention to detail but I always like I'm actually a big fan of the de design of this um, and if you want to know more about Saber basically he's an author who finds um, the sort of flames and becomes Kamen Rider Saber and of course becomes the main character if you want to watch find out more about this like watch the show like again more talking about that later but still for me I enjoy this suit and I enjoy the color scheme more than like the redesigned com like cross saber which is his final form which is probably going to get an SHF soon and for his final final form um almighty brave dragon which basically just brave dragon with a better, with a bigger book. But besides that, and the weird conclusion that like the final form needs to be the base form, but with a different item. Um, let's go into some things that like I kind of have issues with this figure. Now, don't forget, like, don't get me wrong, this figure is pretty awesome. Like he, I love all the detail, all the paint, all the like cool dragon parts I love because I'm like a big like, dragon fan of r dragon dragon riders but there is some issues such as the head it's for me since I have big hands it's kind of hard for me to like safely maneuver the head just with all what what's going on with this such as the fire and the giant sword sticking out of his head that makes it kind of Makes me really cautious when I'm trying to move the head because I feel like one of these you're gonna break off and I don't want that. And breaking off, and it also, also doesn't help when the dragon head right here kind of limits the head articulation, but also the arm articulation, especially when it has this weird cover um, right here that limits movement on the other arm. Oh, and speaking of the arm, if you can't tell, yeah, it's the dragon shooting out flame brilliant and we also get a nice driver and the wonder ride book which it can is removable and the stickers as I mentioned in my camera caliber review I got this on to collectibles from SHF upgrade so like you get a blank book but since I wanted to like get all the detail of the book with the SHF, I got the stickers, and it was a great purchase. I highly recommend it. And of course, like I'm not gonna be talking about too much about flaws, because they'll mostly be with my other partner, like Rokusatsu, who is also doing a saber review today. Which you should check that out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. But the big issues I had with this, like one we'll talk about later, is this skirt. The skirt, like, uh, don't get me wrong, it feels nice, but it just doesn't really feel perfect. Unlike the cross Evil and Evil Black Hole, this doesn't 
this feels more plasticky and less maneuverable compared to others. It just doesn't really get off the nice feel that you get with the other two figures, if you can understand what I'm saying. If not, then don't worry. But besides that, this is a, still a great SA, great looking SHF, especially when you get into his articulation. Now his articulation, like at the head you got the standard double ball joint, ball joint here, and ball joint at the neck, that can allow him to look up and down. You get some rotation at this arm, shoulder pads on a hinge, hinge joint and a ball joint. Um, kind of a double jointed elbow, but it's kind of limited right here, which they should learn to fix more. Um, a ball joint and a hinge joint at the arm, which you can rotate. Um, but on the other side, you get like a ball and like a smaller hinge joint on this side, which limits more. You get the hinge joint and the ball joint here with a little swivel here that doesn't really make up for what you get with this arm, which it does have a bicep rotation. Forgot to mention that. And of course, like the same for the rest of the arm. The chest is actually limited because one of the downsides about the design is you have this weird blade thing right here that prevents an ab crunch unless you like move the chest piece like over and that doesn't really look right. You can move like back that far but can't do like that well of a crunch. And there is a ball joint at the waist. So, and his belt can move around a bit. His legs are on like a butterfly joint so they can shift down. You can kick up, but be careful because kicking up could result in pain chipping right here or right here. So be careful with that. He can move, kick out that far and kick back that far. Um, he has a double jointed knee, which is pretty nice. Um, he has like an okay pivot for my figure, but not well on the other side. They should kind of understand that, like, because like there's like a little cap right here or a cover, which honestly I don't really find necessary because it will allow us more articulation. And for the feet, you just have like a slight bent at the toes. For articulation, it could be better in a lot of places, especially like on the dragon side and the feet. But if you work with what you got, you can get some better poses more than I have right here. But for the legs, it doesn't really matter that well because unlike the other riders, this guy mostly focuses with sword fighting. And of course, we get that with his awesome Sword of Flames. The Kaiken Reka, if I believe I pronounced it right, if not, I'm sorry. But like this is his main weapon, which is, which is something that I personally love that we got with the main figure, but it did, didn't make the, the downside of the hands that we'll talk about a bit. But still, this looks amazingly pan sculpted. Just wish there was like more like clear or seeable detail on the sword, but besides that, it looks amazing, and you, we have his grabby hand. Um, it can slide in and attach, but be warning, it's not a perfect fit. It will like come loose. It's not like a tight grip at the hands. And for his other hands, we do have the grabby hand and the a pair of open hands, both for each side of the arm, but. This figure is what caused um, the recent trend with other Kamen Rider Blade SA, Kamen Rider Saber SHFs, where we don't get the hand guards for all the hands except for one pair for the, that we have to swap out, which gets really annoying. Like, and it's just I don't understand why. If, if it was because of you know, they have to include a sword with each of the riders now. But moving on, you get a pair of closed hands and another pair of the claw open hands, which are easily like attachable. Like for some copies, mine was very. And 
Of course, like there is a smaller version of the sword that can slide into the driver right here, but that comes with the Kamen Rider blade as we which I do have and might review, but save it for another time. And for size comparisons, here we have it next to the High New Gundam Real Grade, the Kamen Rider SHF Kuga Decayed version, and a LBX um, Odin. And here we have it next to the other Kamen Rider Saver SHFs. Overall, I would say that this is a good SHF to have. Um, not perfect like all the others. But good enough if you want to have a Kamen Rider Saber SHF or just the main character, like for every season. Now moving on to that, I just want to give some final um, verdicts about Kamen Rider Saber show. I kind of I liked it. It was a good show, and I'm sad to see it go away. Of course, there are some people who hate the show. One person even going to harass people online. <coughs> But besides that, we all have our different verdicts of the show. True, it does have some holes, but besides that, it was still an enjoyable show to have. An enjoyable show to have for Kamen Rider fans that just makes us like happy that we're fans of the franchise. And it makes me sad to see the show go away, but just like all of the other writers, and. Every writer time must come for the next writer to appear. So thank you, Kamen Rider Saber. You will be missed. And as for everyone else, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.